Hi everyone, I hope you're well. It's Russell here from The Presenter, official independent Prezi expert. And I wanted to create this video to help the many, many Prezi users out there right now who will be wondering where the hell has Prezi put the planets and stack topics that I'm used to using. If you've attended any of my training in the past or if you've watched the Prezi training for beginners video one and video two on our YouTube channel here, you will understand the importance of getting the content structure right inside your Prezi. And the way that you do that is by using planets or stacks. And now, for some strange reason, Prezi has removed the buttons. What do we do? So I want to explain um, where those buttons live now. I'm actually not sure why they've been moved. I do genuinely think it is a really, really bad decision uh, on behalf of Prezi. But hey, who am I to tell them what to do with their software? But even in the last two weeks of this change happening, I've had at least half a dozen people message me via LinkedIn or via our website asking me this question. Russell, I've watched your training. It was really useful. But then the next day I opened Prezi and those planet and stack buttons were gone. What do I do? How do I create Prezi's? So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, I just want to explain what I mean by this. So I'm going to go into present mode with this Prezi here and I'll just make myself a bit smaller and out of the way. Now, this is a very simple presentation with three sections, but I have two different content structures going on here. If I click into um, the problem section on the left, this is what we call a stacked section. So if I click into here, we literally go to a slide. There is content. We then move on to other slides in this section and then Prezi will bring us back out. Now I'm using the word slides there for you as maybe a new Prezi user, but actually the correct term we use in Prezi for a slide is a page. Okay, we use the word pages instead of slides. So if you want a section of content that you zoom into and then you just go through some pages in order, then it would be a stacked section that you would use when you're building your Prezi. Now, if you want a slightly different structure, if I click into the solutions section at the bottom here, you can see I've got solutions and then I've got three different subsections that I can actually click and dive into. Now, this is what we call a planet structure. So this gives you great flexibility in Prezi when you're presenting to an audience and you really want to present in an interactive or what we call a conversational way. This is where the planet structure was so, so useful. Being able to structure your content in this way to give you and your audience choices about where you go, where you move to in the flow of the content. Now, those buttons always used to live over here on the left hand side. And as you can see, they just have vanished. They're completely gone. And I just want to make sure everyone's aware that they are now, strangely enough, I don't know why, but they are in this more drop down. And the name has changed as well. So we still have planet topics. You can see those at the top. That's for your conversational, your interactive structure. And below that, we have page topics. So we used to call them stacks, like stacks of slides in your presentation. We now call them page topics. It's exactly the same thing. It's, um, the terminology there is actually much nicer. That is a good change, in my opinion, because it makes a lot more sense. You are stacking pages of content on top of each other. So this, the page topics are for linear flowing pieces of content. And the planet topics are for conversational or interactive areas of content. Again, I don't know why, but those buttons, which I'm, I'm convinced and everyone who does my training tells me these are the most important buttons that you need to get your head around when you're building a Prezi. 
for some reason they've been tucked away in this little menu so please 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 make sure you click on the more button and you continue to use planets and topics because what I've been seeing at the moment is most new Prezi users who don't know about planets and pages or stacks are using this button here the frame button and the frame button simply allows you to draw a frame around a piece of content and zoom into it and then draw another frame and zoom there and that is the old way of using Prezi and in fact if you use that system too much you will create what we call death by Prezi there will be too much zooming all over the place and you will make your audience feel very very nauseous indeed so it does have its place using frames is a good thing to do in certain places um, within Prezi but for building your overall structure of your presentation I would say please 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 stick to planet and page topics so I hope that answers the question for a lot of you um, and I will update you of course as soon as I know why Prezi has made that change um, and hopefully if enough of us contact Prezi through their support pages they may even bring it back to where it was originally because in my opinion it's a big big mistake moving that but you can let me know what you think in the comments below hope you found it useful and happy zooming take care